Welcome to Telecommunications Lab. Today we're just going to cover the basics of GNS3 operation. Uh, remember that this tool is available for you at our laboratory and several of the stations and eventually via VPN services from campus. So the goal for today will be to learn how to drag and drop network elements into a network and be able to select the appropriate layer 2 to interconnect them. So we're going to launch GNS3 from our desktop. Project file ideally is going to be the name of your assignment. In this particular case, I'm just going to start with a test file. Okay. Now remember, this test file can be pulled all. Uh, you can pull it out again over the period of time. So if you don't have a chance to finish all your uh, weekly assignment, you can always save the partial configuration, come back the next day, and continue working by opening a, an existing project. So. This particular network topology requires four routers. I'm going to select for this occasion the 3600 series. All you have to do is select from the devices available as many network components you might need. So in this case, it's a two router topology. The first thing I need to highlight is obviously in this moment, we have not selected the type of layer two or the network cards available on the routers. Remember, routers have the ability to translate from one layer two to a different layer two. So you might be able to basically select from Ethernet, ATN, point-to-point -point technologies, and so on. In this particular case, we're just going to interconnect both routers with a single Ethernet card. So how do we apply an Ethernet card to a router? We're going to do right-click on the router and go to configuration mode. After that, you select the, um, the router we actually are going to modify. And then we're going to go into the slot component. Now, inside the slot component, you're going to see a list of different modules. So in this case, we have a fast Ethernet module, an Ethernet module, a quad Ethernet module, a 16 Ethernet switch module, and a 4T, which is equivalent to four serial interfaces. All you have to do in this case is select the module you want on slot zero. Obviously, you can see you have up to six different slots. Therefore, you can have to six different types of layer two to interconnect with other devices. Click OK. Repeat the process on router one. Again, go to the slots, pick another interface type. Click OK. So after we assign particular modules on their slots, the next step will be to interconnect the devices. Click on the icon that highlights or resembles a cable. Select manual configuration. As you can see, the prompt has changed to a target. So click on router zero. And as you can see, the interface fast zero zero that we in applied a few seconds ago is now visible. Select that interface and drag the black line to the destination device. Select the destination interface on the router one device. And now we have a basic topology. Router zero and router one are now physically interconnected using a fast Ethernet interface. The next step to, will be to launch Dynagen service. So you're going to have to click the play button. I'm going to wait a couple of seconds so the nodes get started. And you can see the interfaces are now in green mode. Now that means that it's OK for us to initiate the configuration process. The final step will be to click on the terminal interface so the iOS of each one of these network devices executes and gives you the configuration prompt you're going to need to achieve this weekly objective. 